Hey guys, Darkmanlock here. Now I know a lot of you will want to create nice looking iPhone applications using the iPhone SDK, SDK straight away. So I thought I'd teach you how to do a basic animation. Now a lot of people think animations are very hard in programming, but the iPhone SDK actually makes it extremely simple. So we'll go ahead and open Xcode, go into File, New Project, and select a view based application like I said in my previous tutorial. We'll select that. And then today I'll just call it animation. So like before, you have the same same uh, window. And now uh, I'll just expand my classes and my resources. Now I made this nice dark malloc image. So I'll put that into my application. You want to copy items into destination groups folder and add it. So as you can see, it's a nice blue image with my name. So then uh, we'll go into our animation view controller dot h our declaration file and declare a new UI image view. And I'll call it DM image stands for dark malloc image. So then I want to create a property for it at property non-atomic retain ib outlet ui image view dm image this will just tell the program to retain our image now we'll go into our animation view controller.m our implementation file and while we're thinking about the image we'll synthesize it so we can use it so at synthesize dm image and then we can open our animation view controller dot xib so the same interface as before I'll drag in a UI image view because that's what we declared in our code so then I know my image is 320 pixels wide by 50 high so I'll select that and select the image now we just click the background of the view here select our files owner and go into connections here we have in, in our outlets we have a DM image so if I just uh, connect that to our image and then I'll save and quit now in our animation view controller dot M we'll go down to the view did load method and uncomment it now in here we want to create a new ns timer to trigger our animation so ns timer animate timer equals an ns timer type in sche and then go into press escape and select the bottom one here so then we have schedule timer with time interval 1.5 that's 1.5 seconds self target selector at selector animate this will select the animate void uh, which we'll declare in our code in a minute user info nil we don't want any info repeat yes now we can uh, we can close that off and close the statement there. Now under here we want to create our void, our animate void. So type void animate and then do curly braces and go up. So now in here this will be our animation code. So do UI view begin animations. The then we want to do nil and the context null and then we want to do UI view the same again but set animation duration to one and a half seconds 1.5 and then bring it down two lines do the same again UI view commit animations this will commit the animations or start the animations and then anything in between here in here will be animated so we want to do a 
dm image dot transform dot transform equals cg affine transform make translation I don't want to take it across any because uh, my image fills the horizontal width of the screen so I'll put zero and I want to take my image down 410 pixels so then I'll close that and under here I also want to change the opacity or the alpha value so dm image dot alpha equals 1.0 and then uh, we can go back into our animation view controller dot h uh, declaration file and declare a new bool which is a boolean which basically is true or false so we call that animated as you can see there and then uh, go back into our uh, implementation we'll make a basic if statement so we'll do if animated equals equals uh, false then do this animation here and close that then do else take it down and do that we can copy down to here and put that in there and then take it down again and do a UI view commit animations. Now in between here we want to do a dm image dot alpha equals 1.0. This will just basically make it so you can't see uh, the image. And then under here we want to change animated equals false. And I also forgot under here do animated equals true. Now, if we build and go this, save all. I don't think there'll be any uh, errors. No, there's not. Now, as you can see, this is a nice little animation. And then, uh, it'll basically. Well, we've we've made one mistake. So if I exit this, we'll go down to our DM image dot alpha in the above the false part and set that to zero point zero. So that'll make it so you can't see it. So then if I build and run this again, you'll see the nice animation. It goes down the screen and then it pulses in and out of uh, visible and non visible. So I hope you enjoyed this iPhone SDK tutorial of a basic animation. Uh, please rate 5 stars and subscribe. Uh, leave comments below of what you would like to see in the future regarding tutorials. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.